And I'd like to cover a subject that we probably don't talk about very much anymore. It would be what it's called a variety of names, a swedge gasket, or by its more common name, the donut gasket. So it had been around a long time. It probably was used for almost 30 years in the automotive industry. And this is what connected the exhaust manifold, the base of that exhaust manifold, to the exhaust system. So it slid over the end of the exhaust manifold, and then a, then a pipe would slide over it, and it, it moved with the manifold at, or, or the exhaust system as you drove down the road, and it maintained that seal between both of those components. Well, originally it started with asbestos back in the day. And it worked okay. And asbestos was really good for heat, but it really didn't work well when it came to motion. So you had, you had failures and you'd have exhaust leaks at, at the proverbial donut gasket. So time had gone on and, and originally you would just literally bolt them together with the fastener. So we move along and engineering gets a little bit better and then probably near the end of its evolution, what they had finally come up with and was really worked quite well is a graphite piece. And this is manufactured with extremely high pressure. So this graphite is literally smashed to look like this little steel ring, but it's really not, it's flaked graphite. So it has a many advantages. One of them that's obvious, it is resistance to heat. So it does a really good job when it comes to the heat side of the exhaust system. The other thing it can do is it also is able, because it's kind of uh, less, or let's say it's smooth, there's less, the surface of it is, is less apt to rip or tear and eventually fail. It was asbestos that was wrapped on a spring and that was all compressed. So it had a tendency to rip and tear and, and leak. So by the time you get to this graphite model, they have eliminated most of that because you can compress the graphite pretty tightly. So near the end of this, what they had done is an effort to modify it to be even more successful. And it's typically on older cars, maybe it went up into the 90s, is you may have spring assemblies that go along with this donut. So it allowed a little more motion rather than the rigid assembly that it started out at. Well, a couple of tidbits here, but you, you, chances are you'll see one of these graphite replacements more than the early Chevrolets and that that had the original asbestos donuts on that because they just moved away from it. So in those particular cases where you'll see, actually in some Buicks that last a really long time. So there'll be multiple springs and some fasteners and that allowed some motion and then the, the graphite material was able to move and flex on the pipe. So when you go to replace them, chances are these vehicles are a little bit older. The one thing you probably wouldn't think about, but that spring portion is actually pretty important. And because of all the heat, well, this can certainly take it. That's not the problem. But because of all the heat cycles, the spring no longer has any of that quality that you would need for recovery. So when you go to replace one of these in a later model car that maybe is still driving around, it's probably in your best interest to see if you can find those springs, replace those fasteners, and before you install this graphite piece into that pipe, even though the pipe may have been changed two, three, four times by the time you got there, it is in your best interest to clean that off because if you can clean that off, even with steel wool to make it extremely smooth, you have a better chance at this surviving. Because if it's rusty or if it's bent or there is some corrosion that's sticking out there, it might end up tearing or ripping or cutting a gouge in the graphite. So take a couple of moments. The pipe's gonna be down anyway. Take it down, take a wire brush to it, then clean it off. So make sure that the surface is as smooth as you could get it. It doesn't have to be a mirror, just be logical. So take that, clean it, put it up, take the time to try and get yourself some springs and some fasteners, and maybe you can add a little more life into one of those swedge gasket applications. Thank you. I'm Tim Goel.